Hey everybody, I'm Vanessa. Welcome back. Today we are going to do an energizing and strengthening flow on the mat. I have a band for the legs and weights for the hands. So light set of weights, one to three pounds will be perfect. I'm using a set of three pounds today. We're gonna start on our back. So let's make our way. And as always, if you don't have the props, don't worry. You can totally do the class and still feel the burn and still feel the strength and energy. So let's do it. We'll come all the way down onto our backs. And we're just gonna start by hugging the knees into the chest. Take a moment here on our back, connect into your breath. Let your spine just relax long. Can you give your head a little nod, no, side to side. And then right back to center, we're gonna bring those legs into 90 degrees, hands pressed against the thighs. So right away, we're gonna to start to build that heat through the core. Take a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, draw the belly down and press your hands into your thighs. Press your hands into your thighs, harder, 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 harder. Lengthen the spine, reach the tailbone long, pull the abs in, keep pressing, keep pressing for three, for two, for one, and release. We're gonna do that a few more times. So you can really make this one as hard or as easy as you like, right? The more you press, the more you're gonna build that heat and strengthen the core. Here we go, big inhale. Exhale, press, 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 press. Drop the shoulders down and back, press, press, press more, press more, press more. Build that energy up, 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 up for three, for two, for one, and release. Whew. Okay, I've shaken that time. Let's try and shake a little bit more. One more time. Inhale, exhale, here we go. Press, 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 press for five, for four, for three, for two. Now hold on one, hold on one. Same arm and leg, reach out long. Exhale and push, really feel that connection. Other side, inhale out. Exhale and push. Feel the spine long here. Feel the sp spine supported here. Think about the fronts of the ribs drawing to the fronts of the hips. So we're nice and connected in the front body. We lengthen that back out. Exhale, push. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, push. Inhale, reach. Exhale, push. Right, connecting the breath and the body together. Oof. Let's go four. And in. Three. And in, one more each way. Out, keep pulling the belly down. Last one. Now hold, just press, just press again. We're gonna amp it up here, both arms, both legs. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, press, press into the thighs. Reach the tailbone long for four. And press, press, press for three. Press, don't have to go too low with the arms and legs. Stay connected really through that center. You got two more. And press. Last one. And press. And release. Whew. Okay, grab onto both of your kneecaps and just circle those knees out. Reverse the direction. And then right back up to center, rolling like a ball, grab to the bottoms of your ankles, or as low as you can on the legs, curl round up, chin to chest, start to rock. Can you connect into your abs as you rock up and down? Feel the connection from your heels to your seat. One more. At the top, plant the feet, grab onto the backs of the thighs, nice big inhale, arch the eyes up, chest up. Exhale like you've been punched in the stomach, scoop and round. Allow the arms to straighten, use the arms, right? We're really um, not just letting the arms hang, but actively working through the biceps and triceps. Inhale up, open the chest, the heartstrings pull up. Exhale, scoop and round. One more, can you deepen the inhale? Then pull in whatever you are here for, pull it in. Exhale whatever you want to get rid of. Stay focused. Find that neutral spine, nice and tall. We're going to go right for our band. Grab your band. Band is going to go just on the arches of the feet. So I want you to keep tension in the feet the whole time, right? They're actively pulling out, your feet are flexed. Arms are going to reach long. If you need, you can keep your hands on your thighs. Start to scoop and round down. Pull into the band as you round down. Articulate through the spine, reach the arms back. 
exhale, curl, round up, round, 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 till you feel your sits bones underneath you, then stack the spine, shoulders relax, pull more out into your band, exhale, scoop and curl. Everything is working together, inhale, reach, right, we work so more efficiently, so more effectively when we work the body as one unit, when we connect into the breath, when we focus in with the mind, exhale, scoop. Mm, one more. Deep in the abs, press the spine into the mat before it comes up. Like you want to leave an imprint of your spine on the mat. Find your sits bones, you're still in your C curve. Inhale, lengthen up. And exhale, we'll finish on the mat. As you come down, bring your hands behind your head. Finding that ab curl, knee pull up. And down, we alternate, pull, lift. And down, control, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Pull that band like you wanna break it in half. And down, up, and down. For four, for three, for two, now we're going to add the twist, opposite elbow to knee. Here we go. You got eight. And down, follow the back elbow, seven. And down, try not to pick it up, six. Right, keep the tempo. Five. Both shoulder blades lift, four. Three. Two. One, back to center, release the head, float those legs up into tabletop. Pulling the knees into the chest, you're gonna reach those legs out, full knee tuck. Exhale, pull in. Can you keep the shoulders relaxed here? Can you keep the ribs pulling towards the hips? Pull, keep tension in the band the whole time. Now if you want a little bit more, we're gonna add the upper body. Exhale, curl round in, elbows tight, tap your elbows. Inhale out, exhale, curl, tap. Inhale out, exhale, curl, tap. Reach and in. Reach and in for five, four, three, two, last one, in. Now we're going to go opposite arm and leg, back to where we were before. Hold the legs. We inhale, exhale, twist, up, exhale, twist, up, exhale, twist, twist, twist. You got four. Keep kicking into that long leg. Now, last one, everybody, you're going to hold the lift. Reach the arm across and then just the arm lift and reach, lift and reach, lift and reach. Pull that band a little tighter. Four, three, two. We're going to hold the twist right here. Twist and lift. We pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, arm goes up, last eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and break. Whew, that was for real. <laughs> Hug the knees in. We're going to go right to the other side. Hands behind your head. That bottom elbow is going to stay onto the mat. You twist up and down. Twist up and down. Press into that long leg, pull the belly down. <sighs> You got four, three, two, hold the lift on one, reach the arm, we pulse it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, arm goes up, we pulse it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and break. Whew, okay. Now the head's gonna stay down, arms down by your sides, or if you need a little more support, you slip them underneath your tailbone. Legs are gonna go straight up. Rotate in, so your heels are out, your toes are in, like kind of pigeon-toed. Start to pull the band out, coming from the outer thighs. So we're really focusing on high up top. Keep the ribs, the abs strong, pulling down. Draw the shoulder blades down. Energize through the arms, right? Feel chest expansion in the upper body. Now we're gonna leave just a little tension. So active through our outer thighs. We inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Take it out of the shoulders. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. 
halfway. Inhale, lower. As we lift, we're going to have one pull the band. Pull out. Three. Pull out. Stay internally rotated. Two. Last one, hold it up the top, back to your band, go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, go halfway down, and then do it again, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold, go as far down as you can, keep the abs in, go 8, 7, 6, relax the shoulders, 4, 3, 2, 1, and break, hug your knees into your chest. Whew, little rock and roll again. We're gonna keep the band right where it is, and we're gonna come up and over onto all fours. So once you get here, give yourself a moment. Toes are tucked under, you still have tension in the band. Nice big cat cow, stretching those abs out. Exhale, curl and round. Staying focused right here on that spine, right? Think about the integrity of the spine moving from the center of our body. The solar plexus, our powerhouse. One more, deepen the breath. Exhale, let it go. Ah. Now we just find our neutral spine and we're gonna walk those hands forward, come into our plank. So as we find our plank, align your shoulders right over your wrist, hold here. Think energizing, right? Firm up the thighs. I want you to really feel tension in that band, so maybe you can walk your feet out a little bit wider. And we're gonna take shoulder taps here. Try not to shift the hips too much. Two, three, dig down through all the toes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up. You got five more. Five. Four, three, two, last one, hold the hands, one knee pulls in and reach back, other knee pull in and reach back. Once you think about the belly pulling away from the thigh, right to tempo, it's up and back, no faster, up and back, like this, it's three and back for two and back, now we single counts, we have eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one knee taps, tap the mat down, press, stretch through the heel. It's down and press, down and press. So imagine that seatbelt is around your waist. It's keeping the hips from dipping down. We feel nice and long through the low back. Dip, hips stay one level, dip and down for four, Press for three, for two, one, and break. Relax, shoot back. Shake it out. We're gonna do that set one more time. Just the planks, yeah? Okay, we know what we're doing now. Let's go into it. Find that same control. Make sure the toes are wide so you feel the tension in the band. It's gonna help stabilize the hips as we go into our shoulder taps. We have 16. Here we go, 16, 15, 14, 11, 10, dig down through those toes. Eight, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, knee pulls in. We take it in and out. Slow in and out, in and out. Hold it, pull and reach, pull and reach, pull and reach, pull. Little faster, up, up, up. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, knee taps are next. Here we go, we drop it down and press. Down, stay strong through the arms. Three, and up, down, and press. Keep those abs pulling up. Eight more like this, eight, then we break. Seven, you got it, six, Five, it's all mental. Four, if you tell yourself you can, I promise you, you can. And break. They all might not look exactly how you want it to look, but just stay in it, just keep moving, right? You got it. Okay, feeling good, feeling that heat coming? 
Let's do it one more time. Come back. Open the toes. We got shoulder taps. Here we go. Tap and tap. Press the floor away. Halfway there, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, knee drives. Here we go. Up, back, strong, pull, back, reach, up, navel to spine, pull, pull, little faster. Here we go. It's up, up, up. Keep the tailbone reaching back, up, up, five, four, three, two knee taps here we go we take it down and push little dip down and push keep those hips one level push down and push four more this tempo three two now can you pick it up a little quicker take it eight seven six on hip move those hips for four three two one and break Whew. okay Core is on fire, shall we come up onto our feet? So slip that band over your ankles. We'll round all the way up to stand. I'm gonna go band about halfway around my calves and I'm gonna grab onto my hand weights for this one. Okay, so we're gonna start with a little squat series. Weights are gonna be right in the center of your chest. Drop it down, weight is in your heels. Lift, leg goes out. We take it down, same leg, push and lift. So really finding that balance from two feet to one foot. And down, again, whole body is working together. Push and in, push away from center, draw into center, push. Feel strong through that standing leg, push, push. Push. Now next one, hold the arms right where they are. Point the toe, it's down and up. Two, three, so it's small. It's right through the outer thigh. Really important to stay parallel so we shape, right? Think that dent right in the side of your seat. That's what we're working for. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold it up, take a wide squat. So we're down low. Feet are really pulling against that band, and you tap it in, tap it out, tap it in, tap it out, in and out, in and out. Four more. Four, three, two, one, and stand. I'm going to turn sideways. We're going to go right into some arms. So little bend in your knees. Still feel tension in the band. Hinge forward one piece. We're starting with back flies or think bug. Open wide. If you know that term from Pilates, open and close. Really feel the expansion here. Like a eagle soaring, opening up its wings. Reach. Reach. For five. For four, abs are in, low back is long. Three, two, last one. Come right up to stand. Little bend in the knees to stay soft. Arms lift to shoulder height and lower. So again, be mindful. We're not leaning into our low back. Right arms move, you stay strong through center. If anything, you almost are gonna feel like you're slightly leaning forward just to get really on top of the pelvis here. Let's go five, four, three, two. Last one, we hold the lift, we open side and lower. So it's small little circles or slow circles. Three, reach wide. Four, five, just going to eight, six, when it gets tough, just come back to your breath, right? Let the movement happen, come back to your breath. Give me two more. Last one, we're gonna go right back into our squats. So everybody here, drop low. We're pushing the ceiling, kicking the opposite heel this time. Drop down and kick and kick. Really reach through that heel. Five. Six, 
seven. Let's take it to ten. Eight, nine, ten. Point the toes, weights come into heart center, and we lift. So let it be small. Try and squeeze that booty up. Four, five, reaching out and away. You got six left, slow and controlled. Five, four, three, two. We're gonna drop into our wide squat. So pull that band, get low. Take it in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Four more, four. Make sure this knee stays pressing into the band as well. Right, we're working balance, we're working evenly. Give me two more, out and in, last set, out and in. Standing up, we're back to our bug or back fly. Palms face in, open and close. Two, reach wide, three, control the weights all the way, four. If it gets really necky, I would say go lighter weights or even drop the weights all together. Uh, right, we're building mobility. <sighs> Give me three more. Last one, come on up, lift and lower. Lift, feel that connection from rib to hip. You know, like I always say, you're wearing suspenders connected from the bottoms of your, of your ribs to the fronts of your hips. So we stay really contracted there and the low back stays long. Four more, three, two. Now we're going to those circles. Shoulder height, reach wide, lower down. Two, three. So wherever the hardest part is for you, that's where I want you to exhale. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Come right back down. We're going this one more time. Out and we push. So we're back to our first leg. Out and push. One more round. Out and push, out, and push, down, and push. Both thighs pressing out into that band, yeah? Four, three, two, last one. Weights come in, turn it in, and lift. Two, three, shoulders back and down, right? Always a strong posture. Pulling from your center, energy reaching down and up. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, wide squat. Pull that band, drop low. Tap it in, tap it out. In and out, in and out, in and out. Give me four more, four, three, two, one, and stand. Going back to the side, we're gonna do a little variation with arms this time. So elbows are right behind your waist. Hinge forward, flat back. Kicking back in and bend. Think slight chin to the chest so we lengthen through the back of the neck. Again, check out that form. Make sure the abs are pulling up. We're not arching. Really feel the tricep squeeze up the back of the arm each time. Right, so you're firming up the back of that arm. Reach and in. Give me four more. Four, three, two. Now last one, hold it, lift it up. Pinky fingers are reaching to the ceiling. Halfway there, go eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, now hold the lift, we squeeze it in, in. Coming from right from the front of the chest, open the shoulders wide. Can you get a little lower? Give me eight, arms higher. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Round it up. Okay, last set of squats, here we go. Right into it. Get low, feel the tension, and we're pumping up, reaching out. 
last leg and reach down and reach down and reach down 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 three more two more last one weights in tap and lift Squeeze that booty right at your panty line. Up, up, leg reaching out and away. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, three, two. Hold it open, big step, wide squat, narrow squat, wide squat, narrow squat. Out and in, out and in, out and in. Out four more right here. It's four, three, two, last one, and stand. Turning parallel again, draw the elbows back, arms start bent 90 degrees, little bend in your knees, hinge forward. This time, as you extend, I want those palms up, bend and press, bend and press, bend. Squeeze it, firm the back of the arm, up, wide through the fronts of the chest, right? Like you had a ruler across the front of your chest. So all the way to the very edges, very ends of your shoulders, you're opening up. Give me four more. Three, two, we hold that arm straight and we lift it higher up. Two, Four. Can you take your flat back a little further? Right, work against gravity a little bit more. You got eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now we hold the lift, try and tap the weights together. In, 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 in. Keep those arms straight as you work. You got last eight, seven, six. Straighter, higher tap. Three, two, one and release Whew. let the weights go down shake it out we're going to bring the band up onto our thighs and then we're going to hit the floor okay so just need one weight for this next series we're going to come down so come all the way down let your head just rest this is actually going to make it more challenging i want you to really rotate that front shoulder forward that front hip forward and we're going to start with a tr tricep extension so more tries Lift the band and lower. So the whole leg is lifting here in one piece. Up. Now be really mindful not to let the elbow go back. Right? I want you to imagine there's a wall right behind you. So the arm has to stay slightly in front of you. Try and let the shoulders relax. And each time, really work into that tension. Yeah, that's what you came for. Find it. Good. Holding it up. Lower just a little. Press it up. Up, 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 up. Are your abs still pulling strong? Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower. Arm is right on top of the hip here. You're going to punch it out, bring it in. Punch it out, bring it in. Out and in, out and in, out. <sighs> Out. So you're lifting as high again as that tension of the band. Just go four. Go three. Go two. Last one. Hold it out. Flex your foot. We push it out. 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 Give me eight. Seven. Six. Five. Towards that tension. Hold it straight. Lift it up. Last thing. Go up. Up. This is it. Breathe. Four. Three, we got eight more right here. It's starting eight, seven, reach six, five, four, three, two, one, and break. That's it. Whoo. Okay. Ha. Open up, spine twist. Breathe, pat it out. Hmm. Draw it back to center. Go ahead and roll around to the other side. Bring your weight with you. I'm going to just flip around my head to the other side. And then come all the way down. Knees in. Roll your shoulder. Roll your hip forward. Here we go. It's up and down. 
And that second so side, always more challenging than the first because our one booty is already on fire. Get the shoulder out of the ear. And really lift from the thigh instead of lifting from the foot, you know? Pull right up into that band. Let's go four more big. Three, two, now we hold it up. Little bend, press it up, 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 up. From the inner thigh, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and break. Another thing you can always do, check when you lower this top hip, your top knee should go beyond your bottom knee. If it's not, if it's short, then that means you're rolling back. You're not getting all, all the umph out of the exercise. So really roll that hip forward. Okay, here we go. We kick it out and in. Reach, reach past that knee. Reach and in, reach and in, out and in, into that band each time, each time, right? Only you really know. And if you wanna make change, you know what you gotta do. You gotta do it a little bit different than, than you did it the last time, right? Our bodies are really good at adapting. They get used to what we give it. Okay, hold it out, flex the foot. Here we go, bend, press, bend, press, bend, press. Keep reaching strong, go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We lift it up right here. Last thing, you got it, reach up, 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 four. And then we finish eight, starting here, go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and break. Whew. Yes, those clamshells never get easier. Ha. Huh. Right, that's the beauty of these intentional movements. As long as you're focusing on your muscle, as long as you're really contracting with all your might, finding that tension, working into that resistance, it's gonna get better and better each time. Whew. Okay, let that band go. Find yourself on your back, little butterfly, just for a second. Rock the hips out. Whew. Okay, we're gonna stretch those hamstrings. So let's start with our single leg stretch here. Hug your right knee in, extend your left leg long. Find that neutral pelvis, neutral spine. Curl round up, get the shoulder blades lifted, and let's switch the legs. Give yourself a nice hip stretch here. Pull in, pull in. Pull in dynamic movements. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Extend the leg long, straight leg stretch, getting into that hamstring. Keep the pubic bone pointing down. Keep the waist long. Pull it, pull it, pull it like you mean it. Hug that leg in like you love it. Pull in, switch, pull in, switch, switch. Abs deep and down. Pull. Pull, feel that length, that energy through the whole body, right? Fingers to toes, pull, pull. Connect into your breath. Eight, six, four, three, two, one. Whatever leg you got, come on down onto the mat. Ah, open up the chest, big inhale, bend and flex. Exhale, point and stretch. One more time, bend and stretch. Point and flex. Reshape the body now. Open out to the side. Open up through the hips. Send love and attention to wherever your body needs it. Figure four. I am beautiful. I am strong. I'm confident in my body, in my practice. Set yourself up for the most awesome day, for the most awesome night, whatever it is for you. Allow yourself to feel as good as you can. That's all you gotta do. You just have to allow it. And if you're like, well, I'm having a really crappy day so then I ask you, what if you were having the best day? What would it feel like? If you were having the best day, how would it feel in your body right now? How would it look in your body? How would it 
look on your face. Maybe you'd smile. Yeah, find that feeling. Find that feeling and follow it. Let it get bigger and bigger. All right, shit's gonna happen. Not every day is gonna be a great day. But in your mind, you can always feel like it is. One more rock up and down. Let's finish cross-legged. Last few breaths, here we go. Pull it in. Your highest, your most radiant self. Full of love, kindness, generosity, compassion, strength, beauty. One more time, let it wash over you. Pull it right into the center of your being, the center of your heart. Let it grow and expand. And then whatever it is you wish for yourself, send it out like waves. I send it all to you. Thank you guys so much. That was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you feel great. I hope you have a big smile on your face and share it with your loved ones, with your friends, with the world. Until next time, peace and love. Hey everybody, before you go, I wanted to share with you my very special creation, Mantra Moves The Journal. So I know we're all here because we want to change something about our lives, right? Maybe you want to lose weight. Maybe you want to get more fit. Maybe you want to increase your energy. Whatever it is, we're here because we're ready for the next version of us, that next level, that step up. And that is exactly why I created this journal, something to guide us forward. We take a look at where we really stand right now, create a clear vision forward, and then day by day, 60 days of guided prompts, morning and evening reflections, daily rituals, things to help us align and uplift our mind, our body, our spirit. Right, let's get real. We all wanna live in a more beautiful world. We wanna feel beautiful, we wanna look beautiful. But it all starts in here. It doesn't matter how fit you are, if you're saying negative thoughts, if you're seeing negativity, it's just gonna drain us. So using this profound, powerful practice of journaling, whether you're new or you've been journaling for years, this is a really fun, simple practice, easy to implement into the morning and, and nighttime. Just a few minutes, but just those few minutes of clear intentional work is really gonna take us forward. So please follow the link below, grab your very own copy, and see what it can do for you, right? We'll never know until we really commit. Commit to something you haven't committed to before, and that's where we open up the possibility to change, to growth. Peace and love.